and the Metal Raiders event, the second event of Sealed Showdown in the stream is about to begin. We have got Zack and Next Row about to start, so let's spectate the match, let's see how we go. Next row is playing no extra deck at the moment, so he's playing the defensive card. Zach's got a few um, fusion cards that he managed to pull. Jurai Gumaru um, out in the field straight away. So if he gets the coin toss wrong, he loses half his life points. He's going to fire it back to next row. Next row drawing in. The defense from our next row playing very cautiously at the moment. Dark Elf. So Dark Elf um, is a life point cost. So very um, strong monsters on the field. <coughs> Who's going to have the confidence to really go for this? Big Eye. Big Eye is going to look at the five cards and place them at any order. So manipulating... What they have uh, here. Obviously, these events are super fun too, guys. Uh, the next one will be Magic Ruler. Uh, we'll um, get entries for that at the start of the next one here. The guy is activated. A couple of defensive plays here. Another Dark Elf. Okay. Shear of the Pain. So, tributing them on. Jurai Gumo is going to be gone. The guy will go as well. Saw the deep seated, so he's going to boost up his Dark Elf to 2500 points. Decent attack mon now. Castle Dark Illusions. We won't be able to do anything, I'm afraid, there. And Witch of the Black Forest is going to allow uh, Next Row to draw into something here. Going into the uh, Jurai Gumo, so not a bad wee move. Can he power up the Jurai Gumo? Wouldn't that be fascinating to see? Oh, he's played Paralyzing Potion on the Dark Elf. And now the Dark Elf at 2,500 cannot attack. What's the role of this tournament, uh, Steve J? So it's um, the Metal Raider set from 2002. So he has pulled it in correctly and he pays a costly cost for that. Progressive playing um, Jurai Gumo. Zach the boss will get Flame Cerberus out on the uh, field. He's got another Sword of the Deep Seated, so he's going to be able to out uh, Jurai Gumo. So the other match has got a lot uh, going on for it as well. Of course, Gremlin Kicker making his debut in the uh, Sealed Showdown series. White Magical Hat, that's going to snipe cards in the hand. Another sort of deep seated powering up White Magical Hat. Into the battle phase now. Blackland Fire Dragon gone. White Magical Hat. Taking the 1500 point hit here. White Magical Hat discarding the Armored Zombie. In phase. Okay, so turn change here. And it's Zack the Boss String going to be picking up a valuable victory in the tournament. Discarding the Pale Beast and the attack here. And Zack will take the game there. Right, we'll just update some records here, guys, at the moment. Right, so we've got the next stall that will start up here. Stigma versus Gremlin Kicker. It's a good start for Zack here. It's 
So, Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon. Polymerization into the uh, 20 to Thunder Dragon straight away. They only copy a 20 to Thunder Dragon in that deck. And throwing it over to Stigma. And we're trying to catch up with at the moment. Playing Witch of the Black Forest. Attacking into the Big Eye. Big Eye looking at the top of the... Um, changing the cards at the top of his deck. Rukish and Parad, 500 points. Witch is going to grab the Dark Elf. The big 2800 um, been um, hit on the R field. So, Steve J, um, I have just stated before that the rules are from the people are playing cards from the Metal Raiders pack from 2002. I've opened up their packs, and that is um, what they are currently doing at the moment. So uh, this is the Metal Raiders set from the TCG. So the next set after this is Magic Rule. If you do want to enter, I open up the packs for you and you play what it's um, going with. It's, it's a good format to play. And we've got Summon Skull as well on the field. The little swordsman. Yeah, they drew pretty broke. I did say um, someone did do pretty broke. Um, so you got to play hard the whole tournament, guys. Obviously, valuable points and that on the line because there's three different prizes for the history of sealed showdown. People with the best win loss records, um, most sealed showdown wins, and most points overall. So definitely. Um, Look to win all your other dolls, because everything is very valuable. Jinzo 7. So we're just waiting for the conclusion of round 1, guys, then we'll put round 2 up on the board. The Time Wizard from uh, Stigma. Is he going to go down with the Blaze of Glory? He's going for the coin flip. He's, oh, he's unfortunately has not got it. And the surrender does indeed happen. Right. So I'll just get the tournament updated, guys, here. Turn to win loss records. And go from here. Right. Just got to make sure we get that result entered in okay so the next round guys round two we'll see Zach the boss stream taking on stigma and Dennis will be taking on gremlin kicker uh, dark elf I believe is very low rarity how's things have oh so when you're done your duel for the round guys um, please, um, go from there. So, yeah, just make sure we've got people on the right tables at the moment. So, um, before we start, just reminder round two is Zach the Boss Stream versus Stigma. So, that duel has started, and, uh, Dennis is taking on Gremlin Kicker. So, both start your matches, guys. Let's get straight into the next round. So next row you got to be a bit of a break here. So both these players are very wanting, very much wanting results here. Seven colored fish opening up and a couple of back row cards. Got the block attack there. So seven colored fish. Will it get seven tools of the bandit here? No. 
So no, Seven Tools is a bandit is in this set. So we've got Witch of the Black Forest. And Horn of Heaven. So the Seven Color Fish will be tributed. And that will be um, Witch of the Black Forest going to the uh, graveyard and allowing nothing to happen there. We've got the Dream Clown now. And we've got Robin Goblin. So we're going to be losing some cards from this hand. It's only the little swordsman at 800 and 1300. So the clown is on the field. It can swap to defense and out the card face down if it chooses to. So the Black Forest is going to help Stigma draw into a card that he um, will be able to build off, hopefully. The Jirai Gumo has been added to the hand. So we've got a tribute now. We've got the Flame Cerberus. Flame Cerberus is going to hit for 2100. Robin Goblin... Poaching the Jirai Gumo. And Sigma will surrender that one. And it'll be O and 2 there for Stigma. We'll go to this match here. Just got to update some player records, guys, at the moment. Dennis getting a set and a defense um, up. Dennis is first still in the um, Metal Raiders uh, tournament so far. So we've got Thunder Dragon. This is such a broken strat in this uh, tournament. So both Thunder Dragons in hand. And the polymerization is slapped down again. Solemn Judgment from Dennis is going to out the poly. That is a very nice wee snipe from Dennis. Prevent Rat gets the hit for 800 here. Seven Coloured Fish, so we're going for a bit of beatdown. Prevent Rat, a solid defensive option. Sorcerers, Rao Prevent Rats. The Prevent Rats are holding proceedings up here. Okay. Polymerization. Here comes the 20 did. Yeah, and that's the luck of Seal Showdown, too. Like, it's just what you pull on the day compared to others. Uh, at Like, I sincerely hope, um... Oh, we got the Tribute to the Doom there. And we've got Jurai Gumo. Dennis putting up a great wee fight here. And the heads. He's going to out that card. He's going to keep his life points preserved. Colored fish on the offensive now. Gumo will probably attack the defense logically. Okay, he's called wrong. Laughing flower now sending its rainbow flower sent away. 1175 left for our Dennis to play with.
phase here. So turn 11 now. Dennis in control of the stool now. Jurai Gumo is a gamble. Could be a good gamble though. What's he going to play now? Is he going to extend his advantage? Oh, he's gone for the Gate Guardian piece in Soijin. He's attacking sensibly with the strongest and taking 1800 here. So this is a very close game at the moment. What would you consider your best card that you pulled from uh, Metal Raiders, uh, Stigma? Treating stuff in the Sealed Showdown format as Gremlin is under massive amount of pressure. Uh, Dennis has done well to sort of out the... This is the big threat in the tournament, 20 to Thunder Dragon, really, for any competitor. Got Rukish and Parrot into the battle phase. Thirty four hundred inflicted. And down to fourteen hundred. This still is very close here. Can they use OD on trap cards? Not that uh, they're not in Metal Raiders, unfortunately. phase the end phase so Dennis is gonna um, win the first of his tournament so Dennis extends his win loss record to 4 and 0 here right so we're just updating a few things guys at the moment Bear with me. I've just got to update this as soon as I can. So actually that round, Dennis, you were meant to play next row, but I've probably got it written out wrong. It's all good. I'll just update it on that one there. What did I put in the um, text boxes here? Okay, so this is a tournament at the moment. Just bear in mind, so there's no um, real official dual room. Uh, yeah, what do I have there? So I'll just swap this round. So um, there's Magic Roller that's uh, next. Uh, in this series so if you want to participate I will ask for entries in the next event and you play cards from that set so the next duels are Stigma vs Dennis Gremlin Kicker vs Zack the Boss stream but yeah just to note guys this is a Metal Raiders tournament I can give people the duel room they can duel others in the stream but don't interfere on the first three tables because this is where the dueling's taking place in the tournament so Gremlins join your table and we will Go through to here. So just whenever you guys are ready to start round three, let's get straight into it. But welcome into the stream, uh, Sam. Um, what? How do you pronounce your name? There is it, Sam Pok um, Imar, or? So we'll go uh, Zach the Boss stream, um, who is one and one, and Gremlin Kicker is one and one in this event too. Yeah, so next row, um, pretty much, um, we will catch you up uh, very shortly, uh, just because uh, the tournament draw. Um, you're actually meant to take on Danis in round two, but we'll fix that up. So we'll catch that all up in a moment. Dream Clan in a set. 
We got a face down. Hopefully he isn't too far away. Into the in phase. But yeah, the next tournament is in three weeks for Steel Showdown. It will be Magic Ruler. So yeah, if people do want to enter that, uh, get your entries in. It's a 100 channel point redemption, just so I know who's playing in the uh, tournament itself. We've got White Magical Head and a Dream Clown and a Robin Goblin on the field for our Gremlin Kicker here. And we got the Time Wizard. The Time Wizard is going to call Heads or Tails. It hasn't been called right in this tournament yet, so Time Wizard is very much a bit of a gamble. And the Time Wizard fails again, so Gremlin Kicker takes a wee bit of a hit here. And a face down um, being placed. Playing Cerberus on the field for our Zach. Zach's got two decent cards on the field now. He snipes a Jinzo 7. Playing Cerberus going in for the tech for 2100. Down to 3650. Welcome back, Austin. Gives you a wee bit of a chance to tweak your deck too. Next row with all your Meta Raiders uh, pulls. So, uh, it's one positive for you going forward. Um, so, yeah, Gremlin Kicker under the pump here. Share the pain. So, tributing off the white magical hat and tributing off the uh, rainbow flower. We've got Sword of the Deep Seated. We're going for a wee bit of a boost. 2600 into the battle phase. So 1050 left for uh, Gremlin Kicker. Can they bounce back? Very important for both these dollars to get a win on the board. And go to two at one at least in the tournament to give themselves a chance of getting in for the points uh, for the uh, competition. In phase, so it looks like Zach the Boss Stream will be picking up another win here. Into the attack, and the result has seen Zach the Boss Stream pick up a win there, so we'll update that there star today as we um, will go live with another few matches in that just with uh, the tournament concluding are we going to go to the current set we'll like an era set so Val the next set is magic ruler we're just going for the TCG sets uh, then we're doing 2002 tins um, which will incorporate packs from all the year and then we're doing the structure decks so the structure decks will be well the star decks will be Pegasus Kyber, Joey, and Yugi, you select one of them only, and you duel with that one in the tournament. So, the castle is going to be tributed off a of summon skull here. Robin Goblin's going to come in very handy here and sending away Destroy Golem. So, we're, we're going we're gonna to go up to probably the current set. I will speed things up once I've got a wee bit more time in my hands. Uh, we're just taking our time through the each set. Uh, Garden the Labyrinth. But 
but yeah, like, we'll, we'll see how things go for Sealed Showdown. Uh, Polymerization, okay, so we're going for Guiltier. Seeing it on the field too, so the pressure's been ramped up. That's not going to get through. Just question, uh, yeah, the Summon Skull's been paralyzed. And the castle's going to be sort of just holding up here for our next row until he's able to draw something. Jinzo is going to be able to attack directly every turn. Robin Goblin's going to poach as well. Taking the Flame Cerberus out. I don't know why you would attack with uh, Sang in there, but it's all good. Keishin Parrots. Jinzo uh, 7 out. This battle is going to continue on with our uh, next run. It's the Slide Ascent, see? But what we thought was the best deck is certainly not the best one in the tournament. Uh, Gazelle's gone. Just trying to think what set Spirit Reaper is in. He's in one of the early ones anyway. We will get across that at some point. Gumo. So Robin Goblins, he's gonna probably <laughs> lose his Jirai Gumo. So the double goblin is just sniping the cards out of his hand. Unbelievable, he did not lose the Gumo. That he had a 66% chance of losing that. And now he's got the strongest monster on the field. Yo, Didi Lovely. You have a one sided joke to say before I leave. What is it, uh, Didi Lovely? Next row fighting hard here. The reason why I'm doing it this way too, guys, it tests your deck building ability with limited resources. Like if I gave people like full reign of Metal Raiders and that, people would just make the similar decks and it wouldn't be as fun of a tournament. Like that's why we're sort of opening up the packs. It's like people are going to be slightly luckier than others, but it's just your skill. Um, with what your deck building is. Sometimes you can't do much about it. And you're just at the mercy of other players, unless you get, like, the optimal cards you've got. But, um, yeah, like, that, that's why I've set it up that way. Sorry to say, but do you, did you know your birth certificate is an apology letter from, uh, Durex? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, it's an apology letter from Durex, sure. Uh, they'll be GX sets, uh, Val, I'd say, when they get introduced. Still's at a stalemate at the moment. <coughs> but yeah, of course, the next uh, tournament, guys, if you want to enter Magic Ruler, it is a few weeks away. If you want to get your entry in now, get your packs open so you can sort of brainstorm. What I might do, what I might do, is every every year that we have for um, Yu-Gi-Oh, you get one reset. If you get bad pulls, you can reset for one, one more opportunity, possibly. Would you guys like that? If you get a rough sort of, sort of opening, you can st start off again. Right, though, if you're on tomorrow night and have enough time, maybe you can... Do yeah, we can have a duel tomorrow, DD Lovely. But you get one redeem per year. So use it wisely. But then that'll be fair. So, how's things Dragon King Kuma? I'm meaning by Sealed Showdown standards. So, there's four sets in 2002. There's the tins and the starter decks. So, one reset in that year. Then it goes to 2003. You get another one added on. The 
battle phase. This is going to be a long, drawn-out battle, I'd say. Big Eye is going to be manipulating the uh, top of the deck. But yeah, de definitely coming for a battle deck, lovely. I'll, I'll be here. I've got a new deck that I want to be uh, sort of testing out. gonna build a different deck for us messing around with you you did just play whatever you like against me I'll just be playing um, the new build that I had when lose or draw so here can next throw out the skull that's the big question in the still before that big twenty-headed thunder dragon makes its um, appearance on the uh, field, big guy could be all right in this sort of game, though. Just sort of manipulate what you can um, get into your hand the next five uh, turns. Could be handy, sort of moving a thunder dragon up and getting that loop going to get the uh, twenty-headed uh, thunder dragon. So big guy again. Yeah, we'll catch you later, our DD Lovely. So the next um, seal showdown, guys, will probably be the 18th of December. Just to let people know, the 18th of December will be the next event uh, for uh, this one. It'll be Magic Ruler. Got one more duel left, of course, after this. And then in January, we'll have two events. And then it'll gradually, slowly increase till we're doing one per week. Possibly. Like, it's going to be slow because at some point in time, people may have to create potential accounts to take part in the event. So I'll give particular notice of when that event will be. Like, some sets are like, say for example, the Six Samurai set, people may have to have a bit of time to try and build it. Uh, Zach, so you've won the tournament. So you've dueled everyone in the uh, tournament. Um, we've only got uh, the Gremlin Kicker next row duel and the Dennis next row duel uh, left. So you've played everyone else in the event. You won all your duels. So you can't be passed. Pretty close. This has been one of the more tired duels. Still no 20 to Thunder Dragon. That's like the big ace in the pack, really. I'm um, in this build. Just so you know, Gremlin Kicker did get Baby Dragon and Time Wizard as well. So they did have a uh, uh, Thousand Dragon along with their 20 to Thunder. They drew pretty good I'm um, in this one. And Summon Skull, of course. I'll show you all the graph and everything like that, guys. You'll see people's win-loss records. And we'll update the point system um, once the final duel's concluded. Look at this. The old armored zombie's going to beef up and go past here. And the Castle of Dark Illusions is sort of taking the summon skull out in the crash. Shield and sword coming up clutch. So we're going for the time wizard, we're going for the bomb. You take the 600th armored zombie.
that's a cool stigma. Um, like totally up to you, man. Like I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to force people to play if they don't have to. I just want people to experience different eras of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, he's pulled the um thousand uh, dragon play. Battle phase. Taking out. That's a big call. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. The reason why that's a mistake. Castle Dark Illusions will boost up Armored Zombie over the Thousand Dragon. That's that's a big error. And the still. That's going to tick over, and this is going to be a crazy armored zombie now. We're going to be going all in. Mask of Darkness is gone. Next row, we'll take that. Next row, we'll get a win here. And he'll improve his record to 4-2 and two in um, these events. Gremlin Kicker will finish with a record of 1-3 and three, uh, for this particular event. I'm just updating a few tables, guys, at the moment. So this duel is really important. This will decide who finishes uh, second um, in the event. So the last duel of the tournament. wait for this to uh, get set up but yeah thank you to everyone that has participated in the tournament uh entries are open for the next one which is magic ruler or spell ruler uh like i'm gonna allow people a one-off reset but just use it wisely uh because you only get it for that particular year of um tcg cards so if you get a bad draw um and you reset that'll be your only reset for the for that particular year so you get one for each year you can add it on to the one so you get two you can stockpile them but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna allow that in just in case people do get a bad draw and they want to sort of reset their pools anyways i'm gonna join the non-meta cut but don't blame me if election mike gets banned okay val i'll get your name in the drawer of course if anyone wants to enter that event feel free But yeah, after the tournament, I'm going to show you the standings, guys, for the three rewards um, so far. So the big guy is going to dictate here. Mook Mooka Mooka Bacard. That hasn't been used too much in this uh, tournament, but it's a good, it's a good card with a lot of cards in hand. Not so good when you top deck into it, but let's see what our uh, next row does. But I'm um, Grimman, you had a pretty um interesting uh, tournament to say the least. Um, started off very well. Uh, there are many other tournaments ahead. Just to let you know. Got the uh, seven coloured fish. Yeah, absolutely, Coles. Like I'm trying to um, try and plug that gap in some way with these sort of tournaments. Like it, it, they they are they are designed to test people's ability to build and also have fun at the uh, same time. Like um, obviously, spell rule is next. Spell rule, I don't know what's in that set. So anyway, to delete and then recreate your master to account. Not a hundred percent sure if you can or not. Uh, next row is going to tribute to the doom. I think you just have to make another account, pretty much. Oh, Mocha Mocha. Going into the end phase, turn six. So the dark elf making its way.
Yeah, you can make a new Steam account and pretty much go from there. I think that's what a lot of people do. And there we go. We have the final duel concluded. And then we're going to show a few things, guys. Thank you to everyone that took part in Metal Raiders today. Uh, so let's update standings here very quickly. I'm going to showcase a few things here, guys. So just give me a wee bit of time. I'm going to update the standings. Just so I'm going to do it live. So just give me a few moments here. I'm just about to bring up this on the screen for the update of the tables. Can you guys see this at the moment? I don't know if you can or not. I'm just trying to get it um, fixed up on the screen. Literally just trying to do it live, so just gonna fit the screen, please. So here we go. Here's the table for Seal Showdown, guys. As you can see, the win-loss records are there from both events. Uh, so obviously Zach um, was one and two starting the event. He won uh, for on the bounce. Um, he's on seven points. Uh, Dennis has got a record of six and one. One Seal Showdown one uh, and twelve points. He's the leader on the table. Uh, next row had a pretty good tournament, finishing third um, here. Uh, pretty much uh, fourth was uh, Gremlin Kicker with that win there. Stigma gets a point for getting in fifth, uh, even though it didn't get a win today. But I'm sure we'll get many wins in the tournament. So that's the th that's how I'm deciding it, guys. Win-loss record, best percentage there um, with a certain amount of things here. But that's after two events, effectively. And we are going to showcase what the round robin looked up here guys i don't know if we can zoom in a wee bit more if we look but there there is the results there so yeah it's it's combined so obviously legion of blue eyes is on there so zach in the first tournament you had a record of one win and two losses so you won for on the bounce here today, you go to 5 and 2. So I update it as I go. So that is an update on that. Uh, there. Uh, we'll save that there before I forget. Not yet, uh, um, Austin, because we haven't got the numbers at the moment. Right, so who's all entering the uh, non-meta tournament, guys, uh, just by the way? Coles, we enter. Okay, 171, Zach the boss stream. Uh, okay, so Stigma, there's three different prizes. There's three different prizes. There's going to be potentially four, because I had to think about this today. So the fourth, the fourth one will be average points in a tournament um, will be another um, prize as well. But yeah, I've got to, I've got to do it in a way, because... I want to give out decent prizes for this event to give people an incentive to at least play uh, that there. But yeah, just, just note, um, I am going to be updating this um, before the next event. 
So um, there'll be a few other prizes allowed um, will be added. Well, sorry to the event. When will it start? We we've got, we want to start it probably within the hour, um, ideally. Uh, that would be all good. But the, I'm, I'm going to think of another one to keep people playing. Just make it whoever wins for the week gets the points. If you merit, you'll join. I'll get you down as a maybe. Uh, next row. Radio. So does whoever wants to have a dollar against me over the meantime, guys, would be good. But yeah, as mentioned, Stigma, there's three. There's going to be three or four different um, pools of prizes. So, well, obviously, that's for the people that play every week. People that are only going to play realistically every now and then, well, there'll be prizes for them as well. So just, just have that in mind uh, there uh, as well. Right, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll do. All, whoever wants to do, just join table two. We'll get a um, couple battles in. Um, at the moment, we've got um, four guaranteed players and one maybe for the non-meta uh, cup. We're going to start it in about an hour, guys. We'll get it started early today. Uh, we'll go first. We're trying to set up a board here, I think. Nah, the point system doesn't work like that, Zach. So it's where you play. So you finish first out of five players, you get five points today. 